Hello and welcome back to the vlog and this one is our Christmas special. notice is that if you if it was filming that I almost take him back to his mat and let him hop off for a bit of food and then I run back to the end of the line and call him back he's pretty clever and what I've allowed him to learn or train me to do over the years is he gets to the point in training he doesn't fly back very fast to his mat and he'll just stand there and wait and wait and he's trained me to take him all the way back because he knows that way a he doesn't have to fly twice and b he can get the food gobble it up and hopefully get in the air and chase me back so he doesn't actually have to fly as far either. Now obviously we could break that habit with a bit of sort of a Mexican standoff but do you know what it gets me fit running away from him because once we're out in the field obviously my fitness is lacking so it all works out okay. He's certainly getting ready now and he wants to go out over the fields and fly him properly. Now I often hand feed him and he's as gentle he'll take little bits out my fingers I uh, wasn't paying attention then and I just gave a tiny morsel and completely accidentally he's just caught the end of my finger and took a really great lump out of my flesh and it actually really hurts. Um, I have to have two minutes before we film this bit and say a few swear words because it's probably like on a cartoon right now. So we pop him away. We'll go and spray some F10 or some Parazone or something on the wound and hopefully that'll keep the germs out. I think next week this guy will be out. Oh, another thing, by the way, when he's trained on his rope at the moment, in case enough, we're paranoid about bird food and we either don't fly the bird or we take all precautions that we can. And we haven't got bird flu near here, but who knows, because migratory birds are everywhere. So even things like the rope line, we're sterilising his work on every time we use it, as well as his mat, just to be on the safe side. Anything has been touching the ground, who knows what's been there. So, you know, it's been a tough year, 2020. All kinds of things going on. What a magnificent beast he is. Children. Ooh, that's made him quiet. Children in the distance. Hi. You're in the Christmas special vlog, Marina. Does that make you happy? Yeah. I'm going to put the thing on here. Okay. It's none of them to pick it up, is it? Look at Marina. She's watching. It's an art bird, isn't it? Meow. Whoa. If you've seen Emily swinging the lure for this. Female Aplomado, <laughs> Falcon, and an older vlog, you'd have noticed A, the Falcon was very unfit, and now you can see the Falcon is not only fit, but it's quite on it. But also, Emily's never swung a lure until this year, until recently, so flying an Aplomado Falcon, which is very agile, and so far keeping that lure and the bird apart so they don't collide, is actually a skill. She's using that bird nose, oh, it knows if it stoops. It can try and catch Emily out and if it catches her out and touches the lure it gets its reward it won't get any reward for sitting up there and of course whatever the bird will get its reward at the end it's a great way to get a falcon fit his lure swinging it also teaches them flying skills and agility and there's no way you can learn lure swinging 
without swinging a lure, that's for sure. Because your practice makes perfect thing. And I think if Emily can keep this lure ahead of the Aplomalo Falcon, it's not bad. So she's shouting, ho! Oh! And that says, that says your dinner is served, you've worked hard enough. Well done, Emily! Now anybody that knows me knows I'm just rubbish at getting out of bed. Now when I was a teenager, I'd get up at midday like most teenagers do. And of course, now I'm growing old, half eight feels like a lion. But it's Sunday morning. I've been awake since half five. Sort of got up about seven. What a beautiful morning it is. Outside, the birds are singing, it's crazy. It really is a bit mild to be winter. All the small birds here at the Falconry Centre, all looking for food. Spiders and insects all hidden away. And their little beady eyes are finding them, of course. Now, one thing Emily has suggested is that we set up a bird feeding station because Steve the gamekeeper he's got one and goodness me the woodland birds around here there's so many and it'd be great if we could have a station like that that our guests could kind of see just outside the centre maybe where it would just attract so many and of course the downside is you've got to keep feeding them certainly through the winter so that's someone's job there you go Emily you've created your own job but we've got nut hatches tree creep creepers Coal tits, great tits, long tail tits, blue tits, gold crests. Absolutely amazing. Oh, what a beautiful day. Lots to do, that's why I'm here early today. But a week before Christmas, actually less than a week before Christmas, the sun's out, the sky's blue. And it's so mild. It really is crazy. But I guess if you're a, a tiny little songbird, like a wren that just weighs a few grams, those winter nights that don't go down to freezing, they must be lifesavers for you. I don't know if you guys can see these little things, but there's so many birds feeding up there. How wonderful. Well, we're heading over to the Falkery Centre, but first we're hand delivering a voucher because you guessed it, it's a man. <laughs> Christmas Eve Eve, uh, and the man's just got somewhat a present, and it's uh, one of our experience days, and he's never going to get there in the post. Now, what we have been doing is sending them in the post anyway, and then emailing people a picture of their gift so they know they've got something to give. And of course, the voucher ends up there eventually. But this guy's not a million miles from the full presenter, so we're going to hand deliver it. What the plan was today was to get Zeus out over the fields, seeing how he's going for real, get the eagle actually hunting or flying properly for the first time this year. The forecast is 100% pouring rain, 100% of the day. So we're going to do some maintenance work up at the centre, see if we can fit a tail mount to the Lanner Falcon and maybe give Zeus a dummy run on a lure just to see what mood he's in and see how he's looking. Look at this. We're flooded out. Flooded out. <laughs> we're considering, um, hello, where what we had a group meeting and what we decided to do this spring is actually sell all the birds of prey and we're just going to get varieties of different varieties of ducks and we're going to do duck herding instead because I think this place right now definitely you'd be happy if you're a frog or a waterfowl. Awful. Even the gravel look daddy. <laughs> Looks nice in there though. Look 
like that. So just for the hundredth time, let me tell you, in the UK, a male great crested newt is one of the best looking animals we've got. It'll rival anything in the world. That's stunning. There's a few Spanish rib newts in there growing on and a trio of great crested newts. Just look at that. How its breeding dress has changed. So they pretty much look like a female in the off season, in the breeding season. All of that breeding colours and dress comes out. It's two days before Christmas. And boy, have we got some floods going on. The fields are flooded, the roads are flooded. The ground's so saturated now, it just can't take anymore. And then we get rain like this on top of saturated ground. Hardly ever see this running down the Fulcrum Centre car park like this. Look at the weather. I think we have got a cold snap coming though. But for now, wow, this is not ideal weather and certainly not ideal for flying birds. Look at the fields. Ooh. You wouldn't even want to be a worm. You're going to drown. This is crazy. Um, oh, is it coming down the hill like right? <laughs> the The bottom of the hill is just, it's just the ford. It's literally... That's all from this week, but let's take a look back at what a year 2020 has been. Now it's been tough for sure, and any animal related business can sympathise with ours, in so much as for us we've had no help whatsoever from the government, we've just not been entitled to anything, we've fell through all of the cracks, and it's ran, this year's kept going, on goodwill of the estate and goodwill of our amazing staff here at Icarus Fulkery. For Raptor Exotics, incredibly tough if I'm honest since March I've done three weeks three weeks if I condense it together three weeks worth of school since March and had hardly any help whatsoever so it has been tough but there's other people out there far worse off than we are we might be working for nothing but we enjoy what we do and above all else we have all got our health and that is the key thing if you haven't got your health riches really do not make you happy whatsoever. So we're very, very lucky in what we do. We enjoy what we do. So let's have a look back at some of our highlights from 2020 through these vlogs and our videos on the channel. I think for me personally, some of my own personal highlights, which we have shared with you, has been I've really made an effort to breed some of my snakes this year, which has allowed me to swap and exchange for other species of snakes as well. And I do love my snakes as well as my birds of prey. And it's been great seeing all those problem milk snakes, seeing those false water cobra babies. It's always a thrill and it's also really, they're things of beauty, we love them. But let's have a look back at some of the pics that George has found of the last, well, since March really. Let's have a look, come on. The first highlight that we are going to look back on is when Dave found a very, very rare yellow creature in the woods. Happiest Mossicus. The happy moss troll. How beautiful. The next highlight I've included is when we filmed back in summer for some television to advertise the open days which we had at Holdenby House back in the summer. Um, this was fun. Although, as everybody knows, my clip did not make the cut. Just the giant spot on my chin. That's good for me, running up, and just make sure he doesn't cover up your face if you're holding something like that. So he's a little bit to the side, yeah. I was keeping that two metres, so we'll make sure there's plenty of us here keeping an eye. So we can tell favourite bird or something. Guys, you've got to keep that two metres distance, but the signage should send them round. And the there, right, so ignore the camera, so we're there, and when it's, give it a, if you give it a good 10 seconds... Can I just say, gonna, when it's coming to land, how much, how much I might need a bit of moving around the space. Exactly. Yeah, don't worry. Is that right? Do we'll I? Visitors coming won't be able to go inside, but one of the big attractions is the falconry display. Oh, <laughs> I tried to snatch the food then.
Oh, <laughs> I tried to snatch the food. We also had to include how well received our house hawk videos were this year. Feel free to comment down below if you'd like more of these next year. Despite everything this year, we still did manage to get out and go on some great trips, visit some great places like our friends at the Wildwood Trust and also at Dorset Falconry Park. Oh, she's coming. Obviously, I had to include the bar now frying through the door thing. That just tickles me so bad. I hope it made you guys laugh. She's a funny owl. Puppies. We also had puppies in 2020. And I also kept back a little Bronte Alice. Oh, they're just so cute. I miss them all. Oh, she's so little here. Of course, we did not get through 2020 without a load of outtakes. That's all. Say well. <laughs> with good help. Uh oh, with good help. Wait, that... Right, hold on. Just run in. How do I say it without being high pitched? Oh my god, my hair looks so shy. <laughs> Ready? <laughs> oh, it's still there. Sorry. Oh, it's not a Thanks for watching. Like, is that again? Hello, and welcome to this week's vlog. We've already done that bit. Oh. I was just gonna say. lawn and gardening, and thanks to Phil. Thanks, sorry. Come on, come on. Merry, Merry Christmas! Christmas.